Hi, I'm Alistair, and in this video I'd like to give you a really simple walkthrough of how you can have an Arduino sketch which you can monitor on a Node-RED dashboard. So I'm going to keep it very straightforward. I've got an Arduino Uno here, and I'm going to use a, a single sensor. So I'm using a reed switch like this. This is a magnetically operated switch which is open by default and then when a magnet comes close to it the two metal leaves inside snap together and forms a complete circuit. And what I'm going to do is if I just hold this up a little bit closer to the camera as you can see, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my reed switch and I'm going to insert it between pin 7 and ground like that and then just push that in as follows. So uh, if you can see, so what's going to happen there, when I do a digital read of pin 7 now, um, when the read switch is just in a default state like this, pin 7 is not connected to anything at all. As I bring a magnet closer to it, what's happening is that the read switch will close and there will be a constant circuit between 7 and ground. So uh, a digital read will then read low. And that's really it for the hardware, that's it completely. So what I'm then going to do is just take my uh, USB cable connected to my PC, plug that in there, and that's all ready to go. Now let me show you the a sketch that's running on the Arduino. So here I've got the Arduino IDE loaded up, and the first thing I'm going to do is insert some new lines at the top, and I'm going to declare a variable called sensor pin. That's uh, equal to seven, so that was the pin on the Arduino which I plugged one of the legs of my read switch into, the other one went to ground. Uh, and that's going to be a const variable because that's a constant that's not going to change throughout the duration of the sketch. I'm also going to define another variable which I'm going to call uh, last state and that's going to record the value of the last time we read the read switch. So was it high or low or open or close last time we read it? And when we take a new reading, we'll compare it to that value to see whether it's changed this frame or not. In other words, whether the magnet has just been introduced or whether it's just been removed. So those are our two variables, which we'll define up there. In the setup function, um, so as the comment says, this is where we put code that's going to run when the sketch is first run. So uh, I'm going to start a serial connection. So this is going to be when the USB cable is attached to the Arduino, we're going to um, enable serial communication with the PC uh, at a speed of 9600 board, that's what that means. And that's going to enable us to send messages to and from the Arduino from Node-RED. And the other thing we need to do is we need to actually initialize the pin we're using. So remember I said that um, by default when there's no magnet present, that read switch is open, so pin 7 is not connected to anything at all. This is something that um, can trip people up a bit. You kind of think that an input pin that's not connected to anything, that's going to read low, and when it is connected to something, that's going to read high. Well, that's not really how it works. An input pin that's connected to nothing is what's called a floating pin. It's not high or low. It's an indeterminate value that's going to fluctuate. So what we'll, de uh, what we'll do is we'll define it as an input pull-up, now that uses a pull-up resistor inside the Arduino to pull the input signal up to 5 volts when nothing is connected to it. So when our read switch uh, is just in its default state, when a magnet is nowhere near it, the read switch is open and this pull-up resistor is going to make the sensor pin read 5 volts. When the magnet comes close, that's going to close the connection across the read switch which will make that path to ground complete and that will draw the sensor pin value low. So it kind of is the reverse to, to what you might expect. By default it reads high and when the switch is closed it's going to read low. And then in our loop function, so this is what we're going to do over and over again. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out whether right now the switch is open or closed or not. So we'll do a digital read of the sensor pin and I've put the exclamation mark there because um, it, like I say when the switch is closed it's going to read low and when the switch is open it's going to read high and that's kind of the inverse of what some people expect. So the exclamation mark there is going to just reverse the value. So we've now got the current state being high when the switch is closed. If that is different to what the previous value we knew was, 
So we'll compare it to the last state. Um, and we'll, first thing we'll do in that case is update the stored value. And the second thing we'll do is we will now print to the serial connection what the new value is. Can't type very well. There we go. And that is it. So it's literally 16 lines of code is all we have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to check that there's no mistakes in that code. That's okay. And here I'm going to select the port that my Arduino is plugged into, which is COM5. You can see I'm using a, an Arduino Uno. And I'm going to upload the code. And that's it. So now that the code has uploaded itself onto the Arduino board and it started running automatically, let me show you how it's actually working. So um, if we go to the Arduino IDE tools menu and select serial monitor, what that does is that opens a console window which enables us to send and receive messages to the Arduino using that serial connection that we defined in the setup function. So you'll see at the bottom here we've got 9600 board that matches the speed that we declared in the setup function in the sketch here. And if I take a magnet now and I place it near to that read switch which I plugged into pin 7, you'll see that I get the number 1 displayed in the serial monitor connection. My hand's actually a little bit wobbly so you'll see 1s and zeros as I bring the magnet close to and remove it again. So what's happening here is that the sketch is repeatedly running that loop function over and over. It's reading the uh, value assigned to pin 7. And when the magnet's not there, that reading is pulled high by the pull-up resistor. When the magnet is there, uh, the switch closes, the pin is connected to ground, and it reads low instead. OK, so that's all very well. That's a string of 1s and zeros in the serial monitor. Now let me show you how you can get that same output coming into a Node-RED dashboard. So here I've loaded up my browser and pointed it to my local host that's running the uh, Node-RED server. So I'm in the flow editor pane at the moment, so here's my empty flow. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create a flow that sort of replicates the functionality of the Arduino IDE serial monitor. So what we want to do is we want to create a serial connection to the Arduino and receive those ones and zeros which it's sending out when it detects the read switch has been activated and use them to update a dashboard display. So the first thing we want to do is to um, open a serial connection. Now by default Node-RED doesn't have any nodes for serial connection but that's fine because we can add them in relatively easily. So we'll go to the menu here, go to Manage Palette and we'll go to install and if you search the module list for the word serial this very top hit here node red node serial port enables node red to talk to serial ports sounds good so let's install that and there we go and you can see it says that uh, new nodes have been added to the palette serial in out and some others and they've appeared here in the network tab so we're going to start off with a serial in message because this flow is going to be triggered when it receives a serial message from the Arduino. If we double click on that node to configure it, we can see we choose which serial port to use. Now if I just uh, quickly flick back to my Arduino sketch again for a moment, um, what you'll remember is that when we uploaded this to the Arduino, we chose COM5. That's the port that my Arduino is plugged into at the moment. So we're going to use that same COM port in Node Red. So we'll just click here and we'll say we want to connect to COM5. We will be using a board rate of 9600 and we'll just leave these values as the default. And that's all we need to do. So we'll add that, done, and that is our serial connection, COM5. OK, so when a value is received there, we're going to have those 1s and zeros coming in. Well, what do we want to do with them? Well, the simplest thing to do is we'll just display them on a uh, dashboard, for example. So I've already installed the dashboard set of nodes. If you haven't done that for your Node-RED instance, uh, again, what you'll need to do is come to Manage Palette here, back to Install, and search for Dashboard. Um, and you need to install the Node-RED dashboard here. You can see I've already installed that, so 
Uh, that's where to find these if you if you haven't got them. And what we'll do is we'll just have a text output and we'll drag that there and we will connect our serial in to our text output. And what do we want our text to display? Well we'll put that uh, on the home default group and we'll put a label for it and we'll say something like uh, read switch and then we'll just get it to display the message payload. So the payload is going to be the value that the serial port read in and that's all we're going to do. So that's our really simple flow serial port straight to text value if we deploy that and we'll get the message come up. Ah, now this is interesting. What you'll see here is that uh, you'll see we've got a message that says not connected to COM5 and that's because I've just realized I've made a mistake. So um, I left the serial monitor window uh, in Arduino running. So this is already connected to COM5 and you can't have two different applications sharing the same serial port connection. So uh, I need to close this window first and uh, now you'll see now it's magically changed to connected again. So now we have node red connected to our Arduino via COM5 uh, and it's updating this value of read switch here. So uh, if we now go and actually and load the dashboard um, what you'll see is that we have our text label, our read switch and the most recent value that was sent by the Arduino over that serial monitor connection. Uh, and now if I just turn on my uh, video screen again so you can see I've got the Arduino and as I bring my magnet close to the read switch you'll see that that reading changes from a 0 to a 1 then I remove the magnet so we've got our real-time sensor as recorded by the Arduino sent over this serial monitor connection to node red and onto the dashboard. So that's just intended to demonstrate a really simple way that you can read values from an Arduino into Node Red. It doesn't demonstrate a whole lot of useful functionality on its own. All we've really done is replicate what the Arduino serial monitor does anyway. But now imagine that you've actually got a whole host of Arduino devices all connected to different COM ports and they can be displayed in a dashboard alongside each other. Maybe they're uh, reporting multiple sensor values each and you can display their outputs using charts and graphs and colour the results differently depending on what the values are. And so um, this is really just the start and I just wanted to demonstrate the connection methods. I'll show you some other very cool stuff you can do in later videos. But I hope that was useful anyway and thanks for watching.